Hello, my name is Robert Clark and welcome to show 5 of Only Tech News. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Adobe Master Suite collection and just a br brief overview of it, all its apps. So, the Adobe Master Suite really is the ultimate mothership for Adobe. Priced at $2,500, you get Adobe uh, Acrobat Dis Distiller, I think that's how you say it, Adobe Acro uh, Acrobat 9 Pro, After Effects, Adobe Bridge, Contribute, Device Center, Dreamweaver, Adobe Drive, Encore, Extended Script Toolkit, the Adobe Extension Manager, Fireworks, Flash CS4 Professional, Illustrator, InDesign, uh, Lifecycle Designer, Media, and Coder CS4, Adobe On Location, and Adobe Photoshop Extended, uh, and you get a 60-bit, 60 60-bit, 60 I mean 64-bit version of that comes with it too. You also get the Adobe Premiere Pro and Soundbooth and Mocha for After Effects. So all of these products are really quite stunning. I don't have time to show you all of them, but we'll just take a quick dive into Photoshop. Uh, I'm running 64-bit. So it's a classic visual, I mean, it's a classic Photoshop layout. It's not very user-friendly, of course. You have the options of going to the basic and essentials. And you've just got, you could, before you start, of course, you have to click a new one and create a new one. There's some new things that I like, well, from, because uh, I've been using uh, Paint.net, I, I, there are a few features that I really, really do like. For example, the, um, the blur tool. So if I just create some very hard, jagged image for you right there. So right there, and then I'll zoom in to 50%. Oops, I meant... 150% and then I'd click on the I'm not, I think it's called the like the the repair tool or something but it blurs very well so you just draw a line where you want to blur and make it really soft edge and nice and cutting edge this image will be available on our blog just follow the link in the description So the other essential um, app that comes with this is After Effects. Everybody loves After Effects, there's no doubt about that. After Effects is used in a lot of movies and short films across YouTube and even in the movie business by a few people. So this is um, CS4 by the way, uh, all of these apps are CS4. So we have the Master Suite collection uh, CS4. I don't know if you want to make that out. Master Suite, Master Collection, but same thing. So I'm not really a very good um, uh, After Effects user, but uh, just looking at it, you can tell how complex this is and how used, it's not very user friendly, but how rich this is. <laughs> like, how it's just very, oh gosh, I just moved out of the screen, but you can just tell how um, complex this is and how powerful this is for someone who really knows how to use it. Uh, I will hopefully um, post something eventually um, to just to show you uh, how, how I use it, but I, for right now, I have no idea how to use this. So if I just close this. So that was After Effects CS4. So the last app I'm going to be reviewing with you today is called Premiere Pro. So Premiere Pro is Adobe's attempt at a video editing application. It runs very well, it can do all the things that any other um, video application can do, uh, but it, it's like Adobe, so you, it takes advantage of all Adobe's things. So let's just call this Test Movie. And we'll shoot this in... Do you think we won't shoot it in ABC HD? We'll just shoot it in 720p in HDV. So once once this loads, you've got it's it's very complex as all 
other as all the other Adobe uh, applications. You've got all your standard things that you'd expect. You've got a lot of a lot of flexibility with this again. So uh, I'll try. I'll try and capture some video. Capture device offline. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be detecting it. Never mind. We'll just try that doing it again. But for example, this is just very rich, very classic, um, very classic app. I would definitely recommend this to someone who uses Adobe. So let's just say I'll do what title I want. Fine. Okay. In this title, of course, you have such flexibility. It's crazy. So let's say I wanted to use this font. Test footage. So you see, I have my test footage, and I'll see if I close this. I don't th might have worked, not sure. Okay, it doesn't seem to have worked, so. Oh no, it does! Oh my. I drag it in there somehow. Because can you see, I'm just having such trouble with this, it's very, very complex, and. which isn't bad, it's just. Okay, see there? Test footage. Five seconds long. Okay. I might I don't even think no, I haven't even spelled footage right. Oh god. I'm not very awake. So now I'll try and export this and we'll and then this will be available on 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 the, in the description. Just follow the link and you'll see this. Uh of course you will. Um so yeah, this is the Adobe Premiere Pro C S four. So this was a short overview of Adobe CS4 Master Suite. If you happen to want to buy this, just go over to adobe.com or your net, your retailer that's close to you and pick this up for $2,500. One thing I'd mention though, that we this is our copy. We did This is not a test copy, by the way. This is fully ours. Expect us to be using it for the later shows if we manage to get around to doing it. So thank you for watching show five of Omnitech News. Uh, we, we've added a little extra bonus thing. We've got this little uh, plate right here, I guess you could say. Uh, it's it's a digital picture frame, really, but it says Omnitech News. We're just going to have this on the desk, and it looks kind of cool and everything. So, um, so thank you for watching show five of Omnitech News, and we hope you can join us for show six.